Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Victoria 2 with the concept of your mod as the Confederate States. It's the year 1932. We accidentally got a crash, so we jumped back into the war with the Americans, but we're actually about to peace out right now. So let's peace out here. Do that. We're going to come over here, accept the American peace offer. Do that. And now we're going to have tons of rebels that we want to put down. We have communists that are going to rise up in just a minute. They're going to have some sort of revolution or some shit. And we've taken over basically a huge portion of the British Empire. We're going to claim a couple of places around the world. And we're going to get like some Jacobins that are going to rise up in a second. Probably. We have rebels all over the place. We're, we're you know, they're, 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 we're, they're dying though. You know, I, I don't have to worry too much about rebels just because they're so strong. You know, they're not too much of a concern to me. And uh, yeah, we're just going to play out until 1936. Um, I think this, this campaign is pretty much wrapped up, though. We are the second greatest power in the world. We will not be able to annex the rest of the People's Republic of America unless they petition to become part of my country or something, which I don't think is going to happen. They do have Jack and Rebels, though. I think I got to get some militancy down. We're going to get Confederate Communists that are going to rise up. Jamaica's independent, they want alliance. We have uh, colonial unrest. Chicago should not produce fruit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, they're producing grain, which is much better. <laughs> So yeah, basically our troops everywhere are going to just fight rebels, and that's it. Um, We can fortify some stuff, but there's really no need because we're not going to war anymore, I don't think. The game ends, I believe, 1st of January, 1936. So, that'll be the end of it. That'll be the end of this campaign. We've got some Anglo-Canadian patriots rising up. These guys are going to be mad, but uh, we should be able to take care of them pretty easily. Because we are so strong. Let's take a look at our different graphics. We have 31.41 million adult males. 52% of our labor force is farmers. 18% is laborers. 12.4% um, is uh, craftsmen. We have 4.4% of artisans. We have 2% soldiers. Confederate communists have risen up. Only 20% of our population is now Yankee. Can you believe it? Those colonies are worth a lot. Yeah. Jesus, man. Just look at these rebels, man. We got Yankee Patriots now. Let's get a couple pro-war campaigns going on. Violent elections are going on. This is definitely the age of revolutions, I think. Jackman's going to overthrow the uh, People's Republic of America. Let's take a quick look around the world. Spain is fascist. Germany, oh my balls. Germany's fascist. Austria's fascist. France is fascist. Turkey turned to fascism. Russia turned to fascism. Holy shit, that is just glorious. Glorious fascism! Uh, Canada is His Majesty's government. Communism is here. We are still democracy, believe it or not. We are a bastion of states' rights. Oh my god. These socialists are so good, man. They're so good. This is our sphere of influence. Anything that's gray. All of that. All of that. That's our sphere of influence. Look at these rebels. Oh my god, these Jacobins. Oh my god. I'm not really sure what they want. We are the most liberal regime on earth. I really don't know what the Jacobins could demand. Then again, the Jacobins are radicals, man. I, I don't know. They don't necessarily need to demand anything, you know? 
The Jacobins are radicals, man. They come from uh, the French Revolution. Uh, Prohibition sounds good. Incredible. State capitalism, please. Even Mexico is helping me out with my rebels. That's how bad the rebel problems actually are. Oh my god, now we're gonna get fascists. We should raise some troops. Oh, I got another crash? Really? Motherfucker, man. I don't think this game is going to let me finish this damn campaign. Well, I can't recruit any more troops. That's what it's doing, is I can't recruit any more troops. Come on, man. Come on. You bastards. Well, um... I guess we got to restart again. Shit. Give me just a second, guys. Let's boot up the game one more time. So I think we're not actually going to play till 1936. I do just want to take a look around the map, show you guys a few demographics and stuff, and then we'll just probably wrap it up right here. Um, I think the year is 1933 or something. I don't know. Damn it. The damn autosave is still in 1932. Jesus Christ. I can't even get through one fucking year. Ugh. All right. Let's give it just a second then. Let's, let's finish up this guy, this war. Okay, let's take a look at our demographics. Um, like I said, I already showed you guys labor, for, labor force. Yankees, 19.7%. Protestants, 38.8%. Conservatives, reactionary socialists. Wow, we have almost 20% reactionary. That's a lot. The electorate vote is mostly socialists. Close behind the conservatives. Communists are 11%. It's kind of scary. Fascists are almost 10%. What's our largest demographic in India? Marathi. 1 million. 1 million Marathi farmers. Holy shit. Um, we got through most of the technologies. Yeah, we did pretty good. Yeah. We could support up to 324 brigades. So that's like one point. That's like one point. No, it's like 1.75 million, I think. Yeah. Uh, 1,750,000 men. We can conscript 78 brigades, which is another, it's like 220, no, it's like 246,000, I think, 246,000 men or something like that, 250, so we can support an army of like literally, you know, a couple million. It's 1932, uh, France, Spain, Germany, Austria, Russia, Turkey, they're all fascist. Russia owns quite a bit of territory in India. He's number one great power. We are number two. Confederate States of America, Germany won fascist, NSDP's in power. NSDP, all right, whatever. <laughs> Italy is a democracy, actually, pretty interesting. The United Kingdom was dismembered. Scandinavia returned to a democracy. And uh, the Qing never reformed, neither did Japan. If they both reformed, this campaign would have been much different. Yeah. Korea is actually still not reformed either. Pretty weird. We actually own a little bit of territory here in, uh, in China. Spanish Philippines. Yeah, Spain went phalangist, which is pretty interesting. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this campaign. This has been, uh, the Confederate States campaign in the concert of Europe mod. We will be playing something else in, uh, in the next campaign. So I do hope you guys have had fun. This has been a great campaign. It's been very, very fun. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next campaign. So thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.